hello friends today i will be showing you how to use the power surfacing to make the surfaces of the cars we will do this on ford gt40 the 2006 model these images can be downloaded from the the blueprints.com they have a big library of most almost all the cars where you can get the blueprints of the required model then you can paste those images uh, in the SOLIDWORX as sketches and then you can trace the required surface over these images let's start working uh, this is the power surfacing add-in this is the task pane of power surfacing showing the option we will since we have to create the surface we will start from create planar surface here I got the surface the box now I will resize the surface uh, according to the size of the object I want to create for example we are starting from the hood of the car so I will place this box over the hood this gizmo appears when you click on any face edge or a vertex you can use this to move it in the plane use either of the axes to move along the axis this point is to scale along this axis scale along the z axis and rotate option scale along both axes and scale on all the axes currently it is a 2d planar surface so the central point will be scaling on the two axes if it is a 3d and then it will be scaling on all the three axes so uh, my our plan is uh, since the car is symmetric so our plan is to make half of the hood and then mirror it at the end so i will place it right here now since we require to trace over the car uh, once i place this surface over the car i am unable to see the sketch below so i will make it transparent by clicking on it and check the transparency option and you can set any transparency according to your convenience i usually set it at 60 percent now the important part begins you only have four vertex to modify this shape the surface Control z i will be subdividing this box to a suitable number of faces so i can modify the shape uh, according to my requirement <laughs> in order to divide it you can this is the selection utility you can filter your selections with this if you check this you can select faces you can select edges as well as you can select the vertices if you select this you can only select the face you cannot select the edge if you select this option you can only select the edge same goes for vertices if you choose this once you box so make the box selection it will only select the vertices that come inside the box okay now we will divide this plane into smaller sections you can do this by selecting the edge and now holding the a key holding the a key you hover the mouse over the edge and it will display a line let's place the lines at the suitable distances now i want to move the vertices now you can notice that the greater the number of divisions the more accurately you can tune the surface according to the base currently you are modifying the control mesh this is the actual body 
this is the control match this this view shows the both let me tell you about the vertices of the vertices if it's by default it is zero if you increase it to like 20 percent you can see that this vertex has greater influence on the shape of this geometry if you make it 100 100 is the maximum then this is called the hard edge the body inside it will be locked to this vertex for now let's keep it zero now if you want to evolve another face from the edge you can select the edge hold the a key and uh, move this axis this will extend another edge This is the option that is used to create the edges manually. I will delete this edge. Now this portion is the requirement. Now I will slide this surface from where the bonnet starts. We have to tune the surface according to the shape of the car from every side. Now from the front view, we will tune it like this. Now we will tune the shape from the side view. Now another useful tip, if you double click the edge near the vertex, it will select like this and if you double click at the middle, it will select like this. Now we will finally look from all sides to make sure that we have sculpted the surface perfectly. <laughs> now we see a slight error. We correct this error. Now I will create the depressions for these features, the headlights and these vents. First we have to tune the shape according to this. Now we will create an offset border by selecting these faces. We will increase the weightage of these four these edges so the curve is not the curve should be sharper now 
now we are almost done with this part a uh, little bit work is required on headlights then we are done Now we will tune the shape of headlights from this view. Now we have made the two depressions, one is for the vent and one is for the headlight. We are done with the designing of the hood. Now we will mirror it. Now we will fine tune the shape. So that the final look of the car is aesthetically pleasing. This is the shape of the hood. Now in the next tutorial we will be creating the complete car. Now I will show the continuity of the surface by the zebra strips. We can say that uh, we can see their model is continuous everywhere. 